Hi everyone and welcome back to my reactions. Today we are checking out The Prince of Egypt. This is a movie that was made in 1998, an animated movie by DreamWorks Animation. And I have heard a lot of good things about this movie, but it is a movie for some reason that I have not really wanted to watch. Even though I've heard so many good things about it, it's just a movie that I've been like, I'm going to watch Kung Fu Panda instead of The Prince of Egypt. I'm going to watch How to Train Your Dragon again instead of The Prince of Egypt. But for, I've always wanted to watch this movie Okay, yeah, saying that I didn't want to watch this movie was, was wrong. I've always wanted to watch this movie, but I've just never gotten around to it, if that makes any sense. So today is the day I get around to it. I'm very excited for it. I've also got my guest star, Princess Huxley. She's asleep right now, but maybe she'll maybe she'll wake up or something. Who knows? But yeah, very, very excited to get into it. I'm also very excited for the music. I've heard one of the songs. I don't remember what it's called, and I don't really remember the words, but I do remember I've listened to one of the songs, and it was amazing. So I'm very excited to see. I'm pretty sure since this is an animated movie and a lot of animated movies, especially in like the... 90s and the 80s and even the early 2000s e even now a lot of animated movies are very musical and there's a lot of songs in them so i'm excited to see the songs in this movie I'm excited to listen to the songs because i'm assuming there are songs although it might be hard for me to edit around the songs just because of copyright issues and songs are much harder to edit out than musical scores and dialogue so apologies if this video is a little bit rougher i can i do not know because i have not watched the movie yet and i have not edited it but apologies in advance if this if this edit of the video is a little bit rougher than a lot of my other reactions just because of the music in this one which i'm assuming there is music in this one again if there isn't music then apology is then there shouldn't be an apology because it should be the same but if there is music then apologies because this might be a little bit of a rougher edit than the other ones before we get into this movie though let's do the lighting i think you can all assume what the lighting is going to be but i'm going to turn on my light and then uh, i'll just let you know what i think it's, the lighting should be Boop! nice 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 okay today the lighting i think you can all think about what the lighting is just use your brain power to think about it and we're gonna go yellow okay my yellow doesn't really look like yellow does it it's more like a orange I wish it looked more yellow, but yeah, we're going yellow, sand, Egypt, pyramids, yellow. I guess it can be orange as well, so this color does suit the tone of the movie, but yeah, we're going yellow. I know that might be very stereotypical and very boring, but honestly, I don't know anything else about this movie besides it takes place in Egypt, so I'm going yellow just because I don't know any other colors that could suit this movie, you know what I mean? <laughs> and before we get into this reaction, if you'd like to head over to my Patreon, I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to movies and TV shows that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. Thank you so, so much if you check it out and let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into this movie. Without further ado, The Prince of Egypt. DreamWorks is very hit and miss for me, but they've made like some of my favorite animated movies. How to Train Your Dragon, the, the the three movies, the trilogy, is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Oh, okay. I don't really know, to be honest, I don't know the I don't really know the story of Moses and the book of Exodius. Oh <laughs> gave me a little bit of a scare, didn't it? Okay, I'm gonna like this movie already. I'm gonna like this movie already. This song is already a bop. Woo. Yes. Oh, what did that old man do for you to push him? Come on, help him up. Oh, I got chills again. I'm gonna get chills so many times in this movie. So far, I've got to say it, the animation is beautiful. Just the, the design of the characters, the flow of the animation, the camera working with everything, the backgrounds, it's so beautiful. They even got the wind in her hair, like attention to detail. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever it gets a bake and the and like the instrumentals kick in and the vocals just go hard, it is beautiful. 
The river is not doing a very good job at delivering this baby, is it? Oh, what? Come You're neglecting on, your son? We will show Pharaoh your new oh. baby brother. Oh, okay. I thought she was neglecting him for this new baby. All I know is that he parts the Red Sea at one point. I don't know why. I don't know how. I just know that he goes like, and the Red Sea parts. <laughs> chills again. Three chills in the opening, like, four minutes, five minutes. What an opening to this movie. Like, I'm literally, like... I have some tears in my eyes from how beautiful that opening was. Not gonna like, oh my god. Come on, Moses, admit it. You always looked up to me. Yes, but it's not. <laughs> I was really about to make that joke. Yeah, he's looking up to him right now. <laughs> Come on, Moses, you can do it. Get first, win, win the race. <laughs> and it was left there forever. You guys, you guys ruined everything. That probably took centuries to put up. Why do the gods torment me with such reckless, destructive- I love how the guy on the right, Moses' brother, has the exact same hairstyle as he did as a baby. One damaged temple does not destroy centuries of tradition. But one weak link can break the chain of a mighty dynasty. Oh my god, this guy is very tough. You have my leave to go. Father. I love their outfits too. The the king, the pharaoh, his like the top he looks like kind of like a cobra kind of and it slims down in the white and the gold. It's so sweet. I am so upset. You might as well. <laughs> it's too late now. You got to do it you got to do more. What? You care too much. And your problem is you don't care at all. Moses seems like the stoner friend. <laughs> what the heck? That's fake hair. Oh, who's she? She looks tough. I'm showing you all the respect you deserve. None. Oh, I told you she was tough. She's quite awesome. <laughs> You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. That was so rude. Yeah, I'm disappointed in you, Moses. You there. Half head dried up. Center Prince Slope. Moses? Okay, it's kind of weird because Moses is the main character. But he's someone that I would not like in real life, you know? Right now, at least. That camel has the biggest hump I've ever seen in my life. Well, look into it. Right away, sir. She must know that he helped her escape, right? I hope she does. Moses has gotten some points back, but not all the way for me. Not all the way yet. He needs to do some more nice things. Be less arrogant. Oh, oh, I'm, s I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, it's her. It's freedom. Why would I care about that? Because what? You're... So rude. You're our brother. What? Be <laughs> Who never told me what? But you're here. It's so mean. Why do? Why would I care about that? Why would I care about your freedom? What the heck? I know this is the way the world worked, but still rude. Please, uh, your highness, she's ill. She's. <laughs> I like this guy. I like this guy. Save my life from who? Ask the man that you call father. No way. Don't cry. He's like, I remember that song. I remember it. So I'll be with you when you dream. Oh, and it's like the bomb, like the exact same shot with the tears, except there's two this time instead of one. Well, he doesn't know now, but he highly suspects. And it's going to be nagging on his brain until he figures it out. Prince of Egypt, no, you're not. The proud history no, you're not. This song is to try and assure himself that he is, but I don't think he is. I still, I think that doubt in that mind is still there. This is what happened at the start of the movie. Okay, I was confused. Okay. 
Why are they taking the babies though? What's the point? For slaves or something? Sacrifices? What are they for? They are killing the babies. It looks like they're killing the babies. They were like crocodiles or something when the babies were falling into them. Why would they be killing the babies though? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh my god, they were dying. The babies were dying. But why were they dying? What was the purpose? Was it so that no one would be able to rule? No, Was there like a prophecy or something? They were only slaves. Okay, Moses, you had the same mindset about 20 minutes ago, though. A blessing. You don't ask why it was said. True. If I ever got a blessing from a god, I'd keep it. I'd keep it. If anyone knows a god that's willing to give a blessing, I'll take it. Temple. I will make it more grand, more splendid than any other one in upper or lower region. I bet he feels bad for all the slaves now. Yeah, he's taking notice. He's finally taking notice in the cruelty of it all. Leave that man alone! Moses! The music is so good. Oh no, he's dead. He just killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> I can catch up to you with you, silly. I'm in a ho I have a horse. I'm not who you think I am. What are you talking about? <gasps> he doesn't know? He must know. No. I know he has to leave, but like imagine being the brother. You just don't understand anything right now. <sighs> So beautiful, this movie is so beautiful. He's gonna run into that lady. The lady with the camel with the big hump. You look better without the wig, I'll be honest. I like your hair without the wig. Trying to get the funny man out of the well. <gasps> Trying to get the funny man out of the well. well it's her! It's her! Ethro, High Priest of Midian. I'd way rather live in this little community than in the big city. Look, look how, look how fun this looks. Look how happy everyone looks. I've done nothing in my life worth honoring. Oh, oh, she, she's like, oh, what? So how can you see what your life is worth or where your value lies? I really like this song. It's very inspirational. No, I don't know how. <laughs> That's my. Don't, that, don't use that excuse. I use that excuse sometimes, but I've learned not to. Just just go in there and boogie woogie woogie. How do you measure the worth of a man in wealth or strength or size? I like this relationship. I like this relationship. Dance with her. Dance with her. Dance with me. That's what I just said. I could write this movie. Oh my god. I have chills again. I love this so much. This is so epic. This is so epic. What the heck? What a shot. What a shot. I have chills. I always think it's funny when I actually think about songs in animated movies or in any movies really and there's like a montage of days where they're singing the same song. It's like, how many times has this guy sung this song? <laughs> you know what I mean? <gasps> Yay, they're together. I also like his beard. I love his hair. I love- he- he looks so much more mature and happy now. No, see what the light is. See what the light is. I don't care about the sheep. You can get the sheep later. Whoa, it's like a little bonsai tree. It's a fire zai tree. A bonz fire. I don't know. Is it like gonna deem him worthy or something? You were born of my mother, you have it. You are our brother. Yeah, there you go. Good for you, Moses, taking off your sandals. Slavery. And bring them to a good land. Hey, the tree has leaves on it now. It didn't have leaves on it before. With milk and 
and honey. <gasps> He's gonna lead the slaves and he has to go through the ocean and part the Red Sea for them to cross it. Oh, that's probably what happens. He's like, I'm sorry for yelling at you, Moses. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to. And Moses. With it. I have so many chills right now. It's unbelievable. Sometimes I catch myself with like tears in my eyes or like watery eyes in this movie. There's been a couple times now where the scene has been so like visually stunning and the music so powerful that like I like my tears like my eyes have started to water. Not even because of the story, just like the music and the visuals alone. He's like, I'm gonna free all the slaves, and then I saw God, and now I'm gonna free all the slaves, and now I, I have a fun staff, and and he's he's like a kid just telling her everything. Oh, it's so cute. Sorry, my nose has been really runny this episode or this this movie, and that's just because there's been some very emotional moments, and then my nose gets really runny. Sorry about that. Oh, the lashes. Ah, their lighting choice again was brilliant. Look at that. Look at that. I'm a genius. Oh, it's the brother. It's the brother. Uh, oh, Ramesses. It's so good to see you. Excuse I am not excited for Ramesses to be the villain. I think he's going to become evil. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it. What the heck? I didn't expect that. I expected like a bright light to shine out or something. The power of their god. I feel like they're fakes though. I feel like they're phonies. Boy. You're playing with the big boys now. <laughs> oh, they have lightsabers? Oh, never mind. I thought they were lightsabers. Do <laughs> you know what? I didn't really see any gods there. It was all just like pyrotechnics. So maybe they're faking it. Oh, this is the turning point. Run, Moses! Literally run. You have the Pharaoh after you. Thanks. To you. To you. I could write this movie. I am actually credited in, in the credits, you know. <laughs> you see. Or you can see because you didn't wish to see. Ah. <laughs> I love this guy. I love this guy. But yeah, Moses was very ignorant. And then I don't think it redeems himself because he saw when he thought, when he knew he was also part of them. Like, he should have seen earlier as well if he really cared. You know what I mean? So he now has to prove himself in other ways. Is that... That's the Nile though, right? They're in Egypt. That has to be the Nile, not the Red Sea. I was going to say, is that the Red Sea? Moses! No! Moses, man, are you trying to die? Look how sick he looks just standing there with the staff. Oh my god. He has the power of God and anime on his side. If you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. It's like 30 seconds long. Switch up God and anime on my side or something like that. Oh, wait. What the heck? It's red. Is this the red? No, it's not the Red Sea. I know the Red Sea is not the Nile. Blood! The blood of his people. The priests did the same thing. Pharaoh still has the power over our lives. They didn't do the same thing at all. They're phonies. They're fake. I'm not dumb, right? That was the Nile River, right? The Red Sea is not next to the pyramids. Ew. Are these those like things that happened in like the mummy, you know? Like this, the locusts and the frogs, like ravages Egypt. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Is it that thing? Oh, look at this shot. Look at the music, the shot. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, look at that shot, the split, 
The split. Oh. Wow. Wow. When they both said that together at the same time, just with, I will not let my people go and let my people go. Oh, so good. So he's making everyone suffer to try and change the Pharaoh's mind and he's just going to keep doing that? Is that what is happening? You want me to let your people go. <laughs> yeah, we just had a whole song about it, don't you remember? How did he get up there as well? You were there switching heads right along with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they were good times, right? But one must wonder why. Dang it, the sun made him turn. The stupid sun. Get out of here. So have been nothing but trouble. My father had the right idea about how to deal. Oh, he's gonna kill all of them. He's gonna kill all of them. It's time I finished the job. Rem no! Nor ever will be again. You gotta get him out of there. You gotta you gotta get him out of there. I have actually no idea what the big the big thing is that's coming. I'm very interested. Shall not enter. Moses is kind of becoming uh, also a murderer. You know what I mean? Like he's definitely killed a lot of people. I know it's to free people, but he's killed a lot of people who needed to be freed as well. You know. <laughs> oh no. This poor kid, this poor kid is gonna die! They're literally killing children. It's literally killing children. It's killing children. And I know it's this guy's fault for being stubborn. But also Moses is the one kind of bringing this upon the land, you know what I mean? I don't know if I agree with this, these methods of persuasion. You're killing innocent people to save innocent people, you know what I mean? Why would he be persuaded now? You killed his son. Oh. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. He won't like it. I know Moses is not okay with this. You, but... Uh, I'm not okay with it either. To be honest, I'm not okay with it. I'm really glad that these people are getting to be free, but still, the children died last night, and I'm not over it yet. That can be miracles! Let's go! When you this is the song that I've heard. This is the song that I've heard before. Who knows what oh. Chills. Chills again. Chills again. Oh, he's strong. What the heck? <laughs> Believe. Sorry, I ruined the moment, probably. Oh, here's the sea. Here's the Red Sea. Here we go. Part it. Part it. Nice straight line down the middle. Waves on either side like in the at the end of Moana. Part this sea. No! The Pharaoh comes with his army to kill all of them. No, he doesn't. Oh my god. Moses, you better part that sea quick. You better part that sea quick, buddy. Whoa, what the heck? Fire tornadoes. Oh my god, I am so ready for this. I've been waiting for this the whole movie. This is the only thing I knew about the story. My wonders. Woo! Oh, that's so awesome. That is so beautiful. Look, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, chills again, chills again. Look how beautiful that is. Like, look how epic this is and looks and just is. Wow, look at that, look at that. Whoa, what the heck? This is so awesome. 
Oh my god, it's closing. It's closing. Only there though? Oh wow, okay. They've made it. They've made it to freedom. That is the sand of freedom, old man. He heard that. He's like, whoa, I have really good hearing. Or he can yell very loudly. Oh, chills again. Chills one more time. One more chills. It's the music. It's the music. Three directors, wow. This is the version of the song that I've heard though. It's like, I forget who, it's like Rihanna or something and someone else, I forget. I don't know. Two famous female singers. Mariah Carey and someone else, I'm not sure. Wow, oh, score composed by Hans Zimmer. That is why it's so good. Hans Zimmer is a master. I love that man. Oh my God. That movie was really good. The story was good. I didn't, like, the story I thought was, like, very interesting, but I don't really know the actual book story, so I don't know how faithful it was or anything. And it was, like, a good, it was a good story, but for me, what made this movie was the visuals, the animation, and the music. And I'll get into that into my review, but those three things made this movie so much more for me. And that was my reaction to The Prince of Egypt, the 1998 musical family animated adventure starring Ralph Fiennes, Val Kilmer, Michelle Pfeiffer, Sandra Bullock, Patrick Stewart, Steve Martin, Jeff Goldblum, Martin Short, Danny Glover, and a lot of people. The cast is stacked in this movie. I did not know that the cast was stacked in this movie. A lot of the voices sounded very familiar. Then I was watching the credits and just like character and then the person who voiced the character would show up and I'm like, what the heck? Ralph Fiennes is, wait, Val Kilmer, wait, Michelle Pfeiffer, wait, Sandra but wait Patrick's like just on and on and on and on and on and it was so fun I was like what the heck I didn't even realize Jeff Goldblum was in this movie like I recognized some of their voices and some of them was like could it be no no way that they can sing that well I was so wrong they can sing so well this movie was so so good I think the story was good I think the story was good but I don't think the story was really the highlight of the movie for me I think if the movie was just a story. I would have liked the movie. I don't think I would have loved the movie. I think what really made me love the movie were the visuals, the animation in general, and the score. Oh my gosh. I loved the score of this movie. I'm going to download it as soon as I can. Okay, I'll get into the score first, I guess, because I'm super excited about it. And then I'll talk about the visuals, the animation, story, some things I'm confused about with the story, then I'll get into the cast. The music in this movie by Hans Zimmer was so, so good. Oh, like whenever the score like became big and grand and the music just hit in with like the boo, you know, so you know what I'm talking about? Like when it was like the build up, the build up, whenever it just hit in and then the vocals would go haywire, like insane. I would get like goosebumps. I got goosebumps so many times in the movie. This is, might've been actually the, the most times I've gotten goosebumps in a movie on this channel. It was absolutely insane. The music was so beautiful and it elevated this movie so so much it went with these amazing very visceral visuals that this movie had these amazing wise these grand grandiose events that was happening these big big things and the music really added to those to those aspects of the movie it really it hit in when it needed to it was quiet when it needed to but uh, yeah the music the instrumental score, I'll talk about the instrumental score and then I guess I'll talk about the songs, but the instrumental score was so, so good. It really got me into the movie. With If the score was different, I don't think I would have liked this movie as much, to be honest with you. I think the thing I loved most about this movie was the score and just how amazing it was and how immersive it was. It I don't even know. like. I was so immersed in this movie because of the music, I think the visuals as well, but the music especially just got me into this movie and Hans Zimmer did an amazing job with the music. It just felt so grand and epic and big and 
beautiful you know what i mean and emotional the score was so emotional there were many times in this movie where i'd catch my eyes like watering up and my nose was like all drippy because of just how beautiful and emotional the music was getting me and yeah i just thought it was really really good stuff the songs as well the songs in this movie were fantastic i don't know how many of the songs were in my cut version of this uh because again i'm filming this before i edit it obviously so not really sure how how the songs played out in the edit i hope that they went well but unfortunately due to a bunch of copyright reasons i maybe the songs were not very present in their reaction or at least the songs were but maybe they were muted or something just because of again the youtube copyright so hopefully they are future oliver i hope that they are in this but if they are not i am i i do apologize the songs were definitely another highlight of the movie the opening song in particular and then the final song in particular the opening song got me into the movie and it might have actually been my favorite song of the movie it was so beautiful and like gut-wrenching and along with the visuals and just the way that the song went and like that the melody went and when it was like get quiet and then like the lady the mom would like sing and then her voice would linger over the instrumentals and stuff like that it was so powerful for me and it was so good and i loved every second of it and i was like if this is the way this movie is gonna go i am in love with this movie already that opening got me invested in it so quickly it was so good just loved every second and then the last song as well the the like the believe song whatever it was called if you if you believe or something like that that was a really good song i have heard that song before it was the end credit version of it though i didn't actually i've never heard of the one in the movie and i really like the one in the movie um, it was definitely more movie-esque compared to the one in the credits, which is more like on stage, that's performance, performancey of a version. But yeah, I really liked the end song. It really got me emotional again. And yeah, there were definitely a few times that the music made me, made me very emotional and I had a lot of goosebumps and it was great. My least favorite song was the big, the big boys or something like that. The villain song where they're, where they're comparing their gods to the Hebrew God or whatever it was. And that song kind of disappointed me that was the only song that kind of disappointed me just because i was expecting a really cool villain song and i know we got a villain song actually you know the song where like all of the disasters are happening and it's like the locusts are going and it's, like, the plague and the famine and everything like that and like the meteors coming from the sky that song was really good that felt more like the villain song in the movie even though it was both the villain and uh, Moses singing it at the same time so it wasn't really a villain song a villain song for me is mostly just the villain singing it and in that one the pharaoh didn't sing it it was his two henchmen who were singing it but I don't know it disappointed me I didn't really like the lyrics of it that much uh, the, the musical aspect of it was pretty good I really liked that but I didn't really like the lyrics of it so I think that one disappointed me a little bit but that was really the only thing that kind of disappointed me in this movie I have some nitpicks about the story which I'll get to just some like consistencies are just very coincidental things that happen and I know this is based off of a off of uh, a book and I know it's based off of a uh, like a religion or a, an origin story to an, a religion or something like that not too sure on the actual origins of this story and what it is there for in the context of everything to be honest with you so I w I'm going to search up some more clarification about this after the movie I just wanted to give you my like honest thoughts right after the movie but yeah I thought that the music in this movie was phenomenal the animation in this movie as well was so beautiful and stunning the visuals when he parts the sea and the mu and the, the music swells and the, the water rises and sways and it was just stunning some of the shots in this in this movie were stunning and the attention to detail in the animation as well the little hair movements in the wind the eyes blinking and stuff like that in the background just the clothes in general sometimes swaying in the wind as well like the attention to detail in this movie especially for this animated movie was really good i also really liked the the um, the inclusion of 3d animation and 2d animation i also really liked how the characters looked like 3d models it looked like their characters were 2d models on a 3d model like they were hand drawn and then turned into 3d characters in a way because they didn't really blend in with the background scene that the background scenes are definitely more like painted mats in a way you know what I mean but they definitely didn't look like completely 3d characters as well they kind of were like a mix of the two so I feel like it was some form of 2d animation 
translated into 3D. Not really sure how they did that, but it looked really good. There are definitely some instances of some 3D animation that didn't look very good or kind of stood out from the rest of the movie. Um, but I'm just going to say that is because this movie was made in 1998 and 3D animation was not very good at the time. And as well, 3D animation today in a lot of animated shows that are 2D, 2D, they still stand out because it is such, it is so different and you can just, you're like your eyes can just tell when something is 3D animated to 2D animated. That being said, the incorporation of some of the 3D was so good. Like in the first song, when the baby is on the water, the there's a scene where the baby is just like floating on the water and the waves are big and stuff like that. And that was all 3D animation. And I could see that it was 3D animation, but it wasn't immediately immediately obvious and I think that was really good because it they really made the 3D animation and they worked really hard to make sure that it didn't stand out it didn't bug your eyes like oh this looks different than the rest of the movie you know what I mean and they did that for a lot of the animation and just props to the animators for putting a lot of time into making the whole world feel immersive with the very different styles of animation in this movie so so good okay the story of the movie now as a whole again i'm not familiar with the book of exodius is that that was what it was called right i'm not f familiar with that uh so i don't know how in line this story was with the actual story in the book i don't know if it was very accurate the start of the movie said this was a pretty accurate representation but i have no input on that i have no say in that because i have not read it i only knew a couple things about Moses just from like kind of pop culture or just from people saying it or something like that. I just, the only thing I really knew was that Moses parted the Red Sea, didn't know why he did it, didn't know when he did it. And so it was, was that was what I was waiting for the whole movie kind of, I was like, oh, give me the scene. I want the scene. This is like what I know about him. And when it happened, it was beautiful. But yeah, I thought the story was like a good story. There are definitely some very, there is definitely some coincidence, coincidences that I was like, this is too easy right like like when he's looking at the the hieroglyphics on the wall of his of the pharaoh his dad throwing the babies into the crocodiles i was like so you're telling me that you've never seen this hieroglyphic before you've never once thought about it and thought to question your dad about why he was killing these kids and maybe that is because he did not care before he only started to care when he realized he was a slave but that kind of brings me into my next point he only started to care when he became a slave. If he had not, or if he had not realized that he was, he had the same blood as a slave, he was born a slave, right? And that his dad had like wiped out half of his people or all of his people or something like that, most of his people. Would he have changed? Probably not. And I know that is def that is like what characters do. Characters change and grow and they learn and they evolve and stuff like that. It just seemed like he, he, he did, like, I'm glad that he did a lot of stuff at the end of the movie or else him changing would not have felt good, if you know what I mean. Like, the guy points it out at the start, like, or at the kind of near the end of the movie, actually, one of the one of the characters, they point out that you only started to care when you realized you were one of us, right? Like, you were just turning a blind eye, you, you were ignorant to the fact that we were getting hurt, that we were dying, that we were slaves, right? And I really liked that they brought it up because that was an issue that I was having with the movie so far, was just that one aspect. Like, he just started to care really quickly, but he only started to care because he learned that he that these people were his people and before that he was so ignorant and he's probably done a lot of bad things to them and like the other night he was like get off me slave and stuff like that you know what I mean so I'm glad they bought brought it up and I think he definitely redeemed himself because of everything he did for those people I, he definitely 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 redeemed himself okay getting into the actual cast now I'm going to go in the way that Google orders the cast I might not do all of them there is a lot of people in this movie um, but I might only do like the, the, the top four cast, which would be Ram, Ramses, Moses, Zipporah, and Miriam. And then the rest of them, I'll just be like, oh, it's fun that these guys were in the movie. You know what I mean? But I'll start with Ralph Fiennes. Fines, that's how you say his last name, right? Ralph Fines as Ramses really liked Ramses. He was kind of stereotypical villain. I didn't really think he had a lot of depth to him too much. Like I understand that actually no you know what i retract that statement i think he had some good depth to, to him i was just thinking about it for about five seconds and i think he has some good depth to him he has the weight of tradition on his shoulders he has his father's words that he's like clinging to and he's stubbornly like that keeping that in that that's part of like the father 
even though the father is dead, he's still around in Ramsey's mind, and he's kind of controlling him in a way. Uh, he's very, he's a very stubborn person, a very arrogant person at times. Uh, he wishes that Moses could be friends, but he doesn't want to let go of his power because he feels like he feels like he'd be a failure again because of his father. His father's figure is still looming over his shoulder. I really thought his character was really interesting, and I thought he was going to change, and then his stupid kid came, and his kid actually killed himself. You know, he his kid brought his death upon himself. But yeah, I really liked Ramses. I thought Ralph Ralph Fiennes did a really really good job as this villain who I actually felt bad for a couple of times even though he was very evil towards the end of the movie and I felt bad for him just because of how sort of brainwashed he had become with how the world should work and and just like how people are worthless unless they're not slaves and stuff like that I felt bad for him for that aspect but I was also angry that he didn't change you know what I mean but that is that is the point of the villain the point of the villain is to be against the protagonist and that I thought he was a very good villain speaking of that there was that that scene with the plague and stuff like that and with the children dying like what the heck was that i i understand i guess i'll go into moses now as val kilmer and i'll talk about moses and then i'll talk about like what the heck why did he kill people you know what i mean okay so moses val kilmer as moses he also played god uh <laughs> that means it was just val kilmer talking to val kilmer that's pretty funny but uh, yeah he he was so good definitely my favorite character but obviously he probably should be because he's my protagonist or he is the protagonist but yeah i really liked his character arc from not caring about people to saving them all saving all of them freeing them and i thought he did redeem himself in the last bit and i thought that i'm glad that someone pointed out that he only cared because you realize that we are your people you know what i mean so i'm glad that that happened i really liked his character i didn't like his character at the start of the movie and i liked his character at the end of the movie so that means that there was definitely some good character growth some good some good change in his character i thought val kilmer did a really good job with the voice acting i was very believable that he was playing this character i thought he was great only thing that i didn't like about moses or maybe not even didn't like just something that i didn't understand was why he had to kill all of the firstborns and maybe i know he didn't really kill them it was like god but he still let that happen in a way because he was there and he was kind of creating all of this in the first place all of this destruction to get the people free and i understand that people sometimes bad things have to happen for the good things to happen but how many innocent people died then to free those other people to free those other people like what was like was the more innocent people in egypt die to save these people than the actual amount of people to get freed because in that case then was it even worth it you know what i mean so i don't i don't know the death toll it was just like really sad when i was watching all of these kids die all these firstborns die and some of the firstborns obviously wouldn't be kids they could be older but a lot of them were kids and just like did you really need to take these kids life to prove a point you know what i mean and i understand the situations are dire you really want your people to escape but these are kids they don't know anything. They don't know any better. What? Like, I don't think you need to do that. There might have been another way. You know what I mean? I just thought it was a little bit rash and it kind of made me go, oh, but this freedom is kind of built upon blood, the blood of the innocents, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that was the only thing I didn't really understand. If there is an actual reason for that and like a really good reason, please let me know. But I was a little confused with that. Okay, Michelle Pfeiffer as Zipporah loved her i knew at the start of the movie that she was going to be such a good character and she didn't really do much but she kind of helped moses be find himself when he was when he was lost when he came to that little village he she helped him find himself she helped comfort him she helped to be there for him she helped him to discover what kind of life really is about and how freedom kind of is and that slaves are a bad thing and stuff like that she helped him through all of this stuff i really like that little montage with the song with with her dad or something like that and it, like around the fire and then they get married and they dance and stuff like that like i really like that part i thought she was really good i thought michelle pfeiffer did a really good job i just wish she had a little bit more to do but again i think this movie would definitely be bogged down if it had more things in it because it was already pretty heavy on content Sandra Bullock as Miriam. I didn't even realize this was Sandra Bullock. I didn't recognize the voice at all for some reason, but I haven't really seen her in too many movies, so that might be why. But yeah, I thought she was really good as this, as uh, as Moses's sister, and she was very aggressive and assertive with her opinions towards everyone, both towards Moses when he was royalty still and towards the guards when they were harming the old man. I thought she was really, really good 
uh, Miriam as a character and Sandra Bullock. I thought they were both excellent and I really enjoyed them in this movie. Okay, the rest of the cast I'm not really going to go into because they had way more minor roles, but I think it's just awesome that Patrick Stewart, Steve Martin, Jeff Goldblum, and Danny Glover, as well as Martin Short, were in this movie. I did not expect that. It just makes just makes me happy knowing that they were in this movie and now I can watch it again with a smile on my face because whenever this character talks I'm like oh that's Jeff Goldblum oh that's Danny Glover oh that's Steve Martin oh Patrick Stewart oh it's Xavier from X-Men you know stuff like that just makes me just makes me smile so yeah really really awesome stuff so yeah that is my review and reaction to the Prince of Egypt thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful beautiful amazing people right here for supporting me supporting my channel it really means a lot my puppy is asleep on the bed if you'd like to see. And she also says a big, big thank you. Also, thank you so much for listening to my review if you made it this far. It means a lot for you to just listen to me talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.